My name is Ethan Earle. I am a member of the International Secretariat of the Democratic Socialists of America, and today I'm going to say a few words to you about the first hundred days of the Biden administration. And I'll start provocatively by saying that I think from a left perspective, I care less about this exact question, what has Biden done in his first hundred days? than I do about what has the left done in the first hundred days to push Biden in all of the ways that he needs to be pushed. We are not naive enough to think or to care about the moralistic calculations of what is in Biden's heart of hearts. We know that he has been located on the conservative wing of the Democratic Party for decades. We have also seen concretely the ways in which he can be pushed to the left and has been pushed to the left through our efforts in the presidential campaign, in the Congress, and on the streets. So the question becomes, how do we push him even further? Over these hundred days, DSA has been working in a variety of capacities. We've been working to pass the PRO Act, which would protect the right for hundreds of millions of Americans to organize their workplaces, to build worker power. We are continuing to do a huge amount of work to support people most affected by COVID, frontline communities, workers, the working class who are predominantly black and brown and are being disproportionately affected by this virus and continuing to come out in our chapters around the country to decry the police violence against people of color and to demand that we defund a corrupt and violent police security complex. At the same time, we're continuing to do our work of supporting and building the politics that matter to the constituencies of our hundreds of elected officials around the country to continue building out our own organization, which now sits at 95,000 dues-paying members and growing. So I would say that on the left, in these first hundred days, we have seen too much of the old infighting too much shallow mobilizing that does not get us the real organizing that we need to win concrete victories. And DSA is not immune to this. But again, as the largest dues-paying socialist organization in the country, we are working as hard as we can to make sure that we do not rely on what is in Biden's heart, but rather to create a working class movement and all of its beautiful diversity that can force his hand toward the changes that we absolutely need for working people and for the planet that we share.